Well, whatever. You ain't tough, ho. I run with gangs. Oh, yeah? I run with 12 gangs, and we only commit hate crimes. Whatever. I'll do what I want. Well, let us just, uh, you know, stroll on over to the internet intellectual space. Well, hey, Dr. Peterson, what's going on, man? You look fantastic, honestly. Since uh, he's been back, you know, slowly but surely, Dr. Peterson has been looking pretty good as of late. And uh, he's here with another gentleman, and they are, the, the topic of conversation here is why women prefer Superman over Clark Kent. I kind of feel like this is a bit of a, uh, how do I put this, stupid question, because wouldn't anyone prefer Superman over Clark Kent? Right? Like... Superman has powers, you know? Clark Kent has powers, too, but he doesn't display his powers. Like, everybody, like, if you, oh, man, who am I going to be friends with? This dude that has superpowers or this guy that has absolutely no superpowers? I, I don't know. There's something flawed about this premise off top, mainly because we're uh, using fictional characters. But let's see what the guy's got to say here. Ten marriages if the male takes a stat hit he also takes a attractiveness hit and it's a severe hit i've seen this many many times and no one will ever talk about it but it's but it's the, okay so what they're discussing is within the confines of a marriage something that i was born of and i got to watch my entire life uh what he's saying here is that if the man socially takes a status hit then the wife becomes less attracted to him and well i'm not particularly i don't think my parents ever took my father ever took like a social status hit he was respected as a uh, local minister and a man that was you know an honorable man that was about hard work and so yeah i, I don't i i haven't i hadn't seen that within the course of uh, my parents marriage but Let's see, uh, like, let's see what he says. Cause she's like, oh, well, you know, if he takes a hit in status, well, you know, she ain't going to want to smash him as much. <laughs> Definitely the case. Here's the best way to understand that bridge. The man takes a status hit. He starts losing respect for himself. His wife starts losing a little bit of respect for him. What okay, but I really would like the, like a clear, what's a status hit? Like he loses his job, you know, or like, like he goes to jail, like, or, or like, I mean, are we, I don't mean to bring this up, but like, uh, like, I mean, is this something, I'm not, sh I'm not sure what was going on with uh, Dr. Peterson's love life and his marriage or anything else like that, but is this something that you particularly went through? I don't know, I personally would need a little bit more specifics on it, uh, but yeah, so w what they, w I assume what they're getting at is that, you know, why women prefer Superman over Clark Kent is because, you know, um, within the confines of that marriage, the wife is to you know look at look up to and to respect the husband because of you know all he's able to provide and everything else like that and i believe like what i would prefer to see is more of a separation between okay are we talking financially here like okay yeah he lost his job and he's no longer able to provide in the means that he used to or well you know people there's rumors and neighbors he got caught with something something to somebody i believe that these are two like, you know like this could be parsed a, a little bit better but let's keep going whether or not that this is going to result in a job down the line or whether some promise or belief that he has is going to manifest. You know, if she's really the man she thought he was. He feels that less respect. And a woman, it's almost impossible for a woman to love a man she doesn't respect. I agree with that 110%. And that's why, fellas, there's always a... How do I put this? Because... Generations of single mothers have raised young men to not want to appear, okay, at least sexually threatening, right? Like, oh, yeah, we're just buddies and pals, and, that, and that's how your ass end up bounced in the friend zone and shit. There does need a, there does need to be a layer of, you know, respect, uh, like, re re like respect for, um, like, and by respect, I'm not saying like intimidation or fear, but Hey, this is somebody who is stand up and who I, who's bad side. I, you know, I'll put it to you like this. Best way to put it. This is someone who I don't want to disappoint. You know, that's really, I think the key right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you 
as as a guy, if you're going to be in a heterosexual relationship, and this is something that I actually uh, did subconsciously in my long term relationship, was always you know be that be that guy, be uh you know what I'm saying like there's a hint of I'm gonna just pick you up, toss you in the bed. Just take that shit away. <laughs> a little hint of danger, a little hint of spontaneity, spontaneity, a little, a little something for her to, you know, respect and not want to uh, disappoint and thusly be disloyal to and the like. I hope I'm making sense here. I think it's that the opposite is true too, but maybe the grounds for respect differ. The grounds for respect differ, yeah. and also there's more flexibility with a man on the respect issue. There may not be more flexibility in terms of first falling in love on the beauty issue. Women have their burden; they have to live up to as well. But yeah, can you really call it a burden? Just like you know, don't like you know, don't 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 be weird. <laughs> Is that is that too much of a burden? Because if we keep it a buck, like, and from my own individual perspective, it will always be I like women natural. I don't like all the extra shit. I want your real hair. I want your real body. I don't like you know need all the makeup and like I I prefer the imperfections. Uh, but you know in you know so I know social media world it's something completely different. But that's why I'm the weird one. <laughs> But yeah, uh, like, I mean, yeah, the, like there is what that there are the things that they would have to do to attract a man. But generally speaking, it's kind of just show the fuck up. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a completely different ballgame, particularly when you're talking at that uh, marriage level, because that's when you've gone before God and you've taken this person like, yo, I'm combining my soul with this person. And I'm going to take care of them and make sure that from here, like this ship, I'm, I'm gotten it, baby. And this is, this is what we're doing. This is the path that we're on. And, you know, having her respect that, um, angle that respect that, that, that aspect and angle to you and see, you know what I'm saying? Like have her see, um, what it is that you are looking to accomplish for them in the confines of this uh, relationship and, uh, you know, get on board with it. On the respect issue, it's very challenging. If a woman begins to lose respect, she begins to lose love, and men sense this, and therefore they oftentimes brag or boast or overstate their potential in order to be able to make themselves attractive. See, where, see and this is where it gets like a little wobbly, because are you talking about in the beginning of a relationship, or are you talking about in a marriage? Because these are two completely different um spaces to be operating in because you know like all dudes kind of peacock you know i mean yeah, i don't wear sleeves for a reason you know <laughs> so <laughs> all dudes peacock but at the same time like that like if you were in if we're talking about within the confines of a marriage guess what like okay like that's when she should have already seen your potential seen seen your dream and you guys should be really operating on your way towards achieving that goal together whatever it may be that truly um you know like you know locks you in together and makes you want to what makes you want to you know build a life together you see this in so many levels in the lois lane level lois lane had no interest in clark kent but she fell in love with superman once she fell in love with superman she wanted superman to be able to cry and express emotions but the man who did uh, uh, cry and express emotions and feelings and sensitive clark kent she has zero interest in we which iteration i mean here's the hard part about dealing with comics in 2021 as opposed to 1993 or 1995 uh, there've there have been so many retcons, so many you know different iterations of these characters at these points. I mean, it is like, well, which one are, are you talking about? Golden Age when back when uh, Hank Pym was slapping holes, <laughs> like 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 which iterate? You really have to be a little bit more cl uh, clear to that one. But uh, you know, it, it it is what it is. Men are oftentimes say I'm opposed to war, but she's much more likely to fall in love with the officer and a gentleman than she is the private and the pacifist. Well, yeah, because, you know, women are attracted, you know, estrogen is attracted to testosterone. Uh, I, like, th this is basic biology, guys. <laughs> like, like when, when, when we are, you know what I'm saying, like in, in primal states and shit, you know, chicks find find that attractive. Find, definitely find like you know what I'm saying. Dudes out there catching bodies and shit. Man, that's sexy to them. Whether or not the and, and, and that's at like a biological level. 
whether they want to admit it or not in 2021, where they've been so culturally conditioned to reject their biological, um, and like to both embrace and reject their, uh, their biology, right? Because they're told to embrace it as in, oh yeah, girl, go ahead, girl. You can fuck like a dude. Like, yo, by all means, like, it's just like, like smack, get it. You get horny, shoot, have five, six, 12 schmeets uh, lined up. But, and, but that's, but that's the cultural, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what they're told to embrace as opposed to, wait, you do have that, but you don't have, but so you don't have, but so much time to lock yourself in, in, in soul bond. And, and yeah, I mean, um, pair bond, not soul bond, soul bond is from something, but pair bond, uh, you know, with a, a guy, the, with the proper guy, you know what I'm saying? And that's just not. That, that's not what that that's the part that they're told to reject so guys i came across this and i was like you know there's a lot to be peeled from this because you're talking about superman who's been through so many different iterations him and lois lane and i i don't rick i don't believe that the golden age um <laughs> back when these characters were conceived oh superman oh please tell me your feelings i, I don't see throwback lois lane being about that you know i don't see Mar i don't even see margo uh kidder's uh lois lane from the original superman movies being like that like yo let me get the get the because because lois lane is always presented as this tough chick don't get about nobody's feelings yeah all right uh, except for Superman's because, well, you know, shoot, he can't be hurt. Weird. Weird. I, man, I you dig a little deep with that. But, you know, this video is long enough. With that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead, do that too. Don't be scared of you. Sub if you jump a fantastic voice. You want to get videos like this every single day? Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you don't like aren't the biggest fans of you, boy. You'll be here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. Actually, go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, yeah, like, I, I believe that just due to. I don't know how long it's been the Superman argument? Like it was cool in uh, Kill Bill because we hadn't hit peak postmodernism yet, but now we're at peak postmodernism, and I just like you know the intellectuals to be swinging that oh, something a little bit more uh, intellectual, I guess. But hey, you may disagree. You might say and say, "Jaj, you piece of shit." <laughs> All that other fun stuff. By all means, knock yourself out in the comments. I'm used to it at this point. Let me know what you think there. And until the next one. Jimmy, you're thinking with your dick. I am not thinking with my dick. Yes, you are. No, I just think that Put she's, your a, dick away. she's a emotional, Jim. interesting, caring girl. Jimmy, that's your dick talking.